wanted to make this quick. We'll see how quick it actually ends up being. So I literally just finished the first episode of The Strongest Sage with the Weakest Crest. Um, it's on Crunchyroll. I don't know what day they put out episodes, but also it's nighttime, which is why it's dark. Um, it kind of gives me, uh, the wise man's grandchild vibes. I don't know why I'm making this facial expression, just, uh, I'm liking it so far. So our main character is Matthias, or I guess he goes by Maddie. And, or Matty, not Matty, whoops. Anyway, uh, we kind of see him, uh, well, this, we see a person defeat this dragon. And he goes, okay, I can't get any stronger. Unless I use, like, the fourth crest. And, uh, then we kind of get hit with present day, and it's, like, a, I think they said he's 11 when he's, like, top, he's, like, on a carriage, being, like, going to the capital, and I think the guy says, it's really impressive you were, like, going to school at, like, age 12? And, um, he's, like, so there's this monster that's gonna come, and the guy's like, what are you talking about? Sure enough, monster shows up, he defeats him. And, uh, of course, we have the reaction of the character driver, like, the fuck just happened? And then he's in the capital, and then he kind of goes to the shop and kind of overhears while he's walking down the street. This girl kind of frantically, well not frantically, is that the right word? But kind of essentially, um, kind of like yelling at the shopkeep, not like being mean or rude or anything, but kind of like aggressively like, hey, help me, you gotta help me, I know you think it's impossible to help me kind of thing. And basically the thing is, is, uh... Her friend, I guess, busted her sword or something, and that the test is coming up for this magic school. And so she needs an enchanted sword that a girl can use. And he's like, I can make you a sword, but, like, I can't enchant it. And, of course, enter Maddie, who's like, I can do it. And they're like, what the hell are you talking about? It's not possible. Fucking does it. And then he meets the girl, and the way he reacts and how she reacts to him instantly reminded me of Wise Man's Grandchild, where they immediately fall in front, like, love it for sight, like, oh my god, I, 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 you know, like that. Like the tongue tied, oh my god, they're so hot, like in their head, you know? That cringy first love, stumble over your words shit. So yeah, that's what works for her, basically. He's introduced to these two girls, and I think Alma is the... Why? I already forgot their fucking names. Okay, one of them is Alma. I think it's the blonde, the one that he likes. It's pretty obvious, like, they like each other. And, um, he demonstrates that he's a badass, of course, at the thing, and he's able to make the sword for her, and she passes the test, and... I tried it. Ugh, oh, I tried it. It's not even 7.30, I'm already yawning like an old person. Anyway... <laughs> And, uh, so he passes the test, he does so good that they kind of, um, he shows he can use wordless casting, and in this world you, you, you chant, essentially, kind of, like you, yeah, you, they call it incantations. Sorry, text message from my mother. We have one of those gates that, like, block off the hallway, because we don't want, ugh. They're calling her sassy now. I think it's stupid. It's still Poppy me. So Poppy, I'm going to call her that. They're calling her sassy now. And, um, so she can go under the grate because she's tiny. So she can go, the gate, not great. So she can go under the gate. And so my dad does the quick fix of getting some cardboard and like screwing that shit to the bottom so she can't go under. She's, if it'll last a day, I'll be surprised because she's already taken chunks which means I have to go and open the gate so the cat can go because the litter box and her food are on this side of the house. And, um, so yes, yeah, so I just got a message saying, let booty out. That's what we call the cat. Anyway. Where was I? So they notice he uses wordless casting and they want him to teach the others wordless casting because it's kind of gone into decline. And, um, so he, he does and they get, 
we get a little bit of information that First Academy is, um, I guess, wordless or regular incantations is the only thing accepted, and uh, or <laughs> the the chanting, the incant incantations are okay. Uh, wordless casting is kind of decline no one uses it it's kind of a lost art to some extent and um so the only way they can kind of like get this back into uh school i guess the, like to bring this wordless casting back is that they have to do a competition with the first i don't say first high school first academy what the fuck it's called and um I kind of showed like the the use of it, the power of it, and maybe they'll like, bring it back. It, that's essentially it. So he decides to teach them for like a month or so, and then there's the fucking thing. It flashes forward to a month, and we have the fucking thing. Okay, hold on, let me text my mother because she's driving me fucking nuts. I love my mother, but she drives me fucking nuts. Let her out! Let her out! I'm doing something, Ma. Doesn't fucking matter what I'm doing. So I'm a bit irritated. Anyway, as you can tell by how lovely I am right now. Yeah, I'm kind of in the fuck off lady mode. <laughs> I'm not a good person. I'm a very, like, I'm doing something, leave me alone, you keep bugging me, I ain't gonna do it. I'm not the only one that can open that fucking gate. But apparently I'm the only one that can seem to fucking walk. Or something. Okay. Back to my less heathen like ways. Um, so yeah, it flashes forward and of course we have the generic guy shows up to fight. And uh, they kind of briefly mention like the ch magical chosen children where the fuck they're called. And he's like, yeah, one's here. Because I guess like he can sense the fucking monster at the beginning of the episode. He maybe can sense magic power something he's like they have more magic than me and then it's just like gee I wonder who it is it's like the three assholes talking shit and of course it's the guy that's like the leader <laughs> like it's the generic oh you have the crest of failure which is what they call the, the fourth crest now is the crest of failure oh you're such a loser did you did they run away you know just like the generic sorry my record. Uh, my Uncle Cruncher was like, there's a disconnection. And it shows, like, the black screen with, like, a fucking cat tangled in, like, a cord or something. So, oh, good God. Cat just knows how bright it is now because uh, I'm not on the, the black screen or whatever. It was a darker screen. Yeah. So, he doing the generic delinquent talking trash bullshit thing of belittling whoever's there. They only send him out. So my mom sends me a text message that says, well, she shits in the living room. The dog's already shit in the living room. I'm already the one that cleans it up all the time, so I'll... Does it fucking matter at this point? No, Ma. Fucking doesn't. Anyway. So, of course, he whoops their ass. He realizes this guy... Well, the first two go down. And he realizes this guy... I kudos for the name like was he just really uncreative or was he doing this as like a fucking joke so he he's a demon we find out they're demons and this guy names himself like D divius divius like the most dumb fucking he like i don't know if he just didn't try hard or like i said like he was fucking with people on purpose but he named himself divius or something and um so the guy, or our main character, Maddie, can, like, uh, is fighting him, and like the other two go down. I don't know if they're demons, uh, but just the redhead asshole is, you know, for sure, is a devil or whatever. And uh, so he like stabs him, and like uses the I think was he Divya says, oh, so you use like a, a spell shatter or something? And he's like, yeah, I also use this this other thing and so everyone starts to freak out because now they can see that he was just hiding him basically what he was doing is he was using a spell i guess he called him like an incantation demon or something and basically what he did is he kind of like assumed a human form and made it look like he was using a crest 
Like, I'm assuming humans can only have crests, are the only things that can have crests. They didn't really say that, but it just, it kind of feels like maybe that's what they were going for. And he's, like, maybe demons have magic, they don't need the crests or whatever. So he's been faking having one. And of course now he's, he's like, he stabbed him, literally stabbed him with a sword and it, it, it broke, like, the illusion he was portraying. So now they can see that he's not human now and they're all freaking the fuck out. And of course he tries to, like, fight him off and then he decides to just, okay, I'm a bounce. And so he decides, or Maddie, uh, kind of goes into hyper mode or whatever. <laughs> It's not hyper mode. It's that thing where like they, they're clearly they're thinking in their head, but like their actions are faster than their body. So he's like, it'll take so and so seconds to do this, and it'll take him so and so seconds to fly away, and then it'll take me so and so seconds to apply this to my sword, and so and so seconds left over to. So he cuts off his wings and then stabs him, and then um, he's kind of like, okay, so the demons are also in this time period, and I thought I drove them to the. And to bring of extinction in my past life, and I guess he says, he like, what is his name, like, Gaius or Gaius the Sage or whatever? And yeah, dun, 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 he was the fucker at the start that killed the dragon. And the reason he did, did I explain that the reason he did that is because he couldn't get any stronger with his crest, so he wanted the fourth crest. And it doesn't really explain why, just like he, all he said is he could not get stronger, and he mentions he wants the fourth crest. Kind of like talking to himself. And that's the start. And then, then we flash back. And we saw what he... We see what he looks like. He's kind of just hooded. He, a hooded figure. Like of a young man. And you see his face. And at the end we see his face. And then we go to like the preview of the next episode. And it looks like he's meeting with the king. Because like one of the things that the... I'm sorry to say. And uh... One of the things, like, he kills the fucking demon, and of course we have, like, the guy, like, in the stand or whatever that's like, he defeated a demon all by himself? So I'm assuming after this incident, they're probably going to the king or whatever, because he killed a demon, maybe, maybe it's, I don't know. But basically he's, he was wondering why, uh, you know, wordless incantations are in decline, and it's pretty fucking obvious that demons probably have infiltrated human society, and maybe at this first school or whatever it's called. And, of course, they want human spells to be as weak as possible, so that's why the wordless casting is no longer a thing. Anyway, I'm going to keep up with it. Like I said, it really does give me Wise Man's Grandchild vibes. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos, and I hope you are doing well. I'm going to go let the cat out. Seems weird to say that. Because it's like something you say about the dog. Like, I'm going to let the dogs out. No, apparently I'm going to let the fucking cat out. I don't know. Okay, bye.